So we've talked about not using time or lack of time as an excuse for friendships hurting. But I want to talk about some of the other reasons that friendships wane or end. One of them is unrealistic expectations. A woman shared with me that her best friend kept saying to her, what do you think of my boyfriend? And she just kept badgering her. Now, she told me that someone got drunk. Somehow, one of the two getting drunk led this woman to say to her friend, I can't stand your boyfriend. <laughs> now, why is this an unrealistic expectation about friendship? She's to this day shocked that her friend stopped talking to her and wouldn't even come to her wedding. And one of the reasons I love doing friendship research and working with people about friendship, because what do you think all this woman, what do you think everyone said to this woman about what her friend did? What do you think the typical response is? Why, why, how, how could she do that to you? You should be, if she was really your friend, you would be able to say anything you want to your friend. Now I said to her, did he physically, sexually, or emotionally abuse her? No. Okay. Wasn't there one thing about him you could find to like? No. <laughs> Couldn't you get together without him? Well, we were doing that, but she kept pressuring me. What do you think of him? What did you think of him? So I said, well, you, 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 you could have turned it around. What do you think of him? That's all that really counts. Oh, she would have suspected that I really didn't like him because that's what I'm saying. I said, well, suspecting it and you saying I can't stand anything about him are two different things. I said, okay, let's, let's use a slightly different example. Let's say you go to your friend's house and her child is obnoxious, uh, throwing breadcrumbs everywhere, uh, tossing over furniture. And you say to your friend, your child is the most obnoxious child I've ever met. I don't know what you see in that child. 